Sorry I'm late. Did you forget to set your alarm clock? and welcome back to My Nerdy Home. My name is Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching this video. So with the success of the Snyder Cut, as well as all of the actors being on board and some even brought back like Ben Affleck to refilm some scenes, Warner Brothers is taking a surprising direction moving forward. If we look at this article right here in Bounding Into Comics, Scooper Grace Randolph claims The Flash will erase Ben Affleck's Batman and Henry Cavill's Superman from the DCEU. And that is incredibly interesting because so many people, while they were skeptical of Ben Affleck being brought in as Batman, he has actually won over a huge amount of people with his portrayal of Bruce Wayne and Batman. And Henry Cavill has so many fans of his Superman that it's almost astonishing that Warner Brothers is choosing to go in this direction, but it looks like they are once again taking some cues from the MCU. As we all know, the MCU is moving forward with a cast of female characters, replacing a lot of the former characters that actually built the MCU. We have a female Hawkeye, We've, we're going to have a female Thor, we have a female Loki, a new Black Widow, and we are going to be getting a female Hulk. So it looks like this is going to be the direction of DC as well. Now, the Flash movie is not really something that I am particularly looking forward to only because it's been in development hell for so long, for many, many years, because they just couldn't figure out what to do moving forward. So we do know that The Flash is going to be introducing the multiverse into the DCEU. The Flash is going to reset the DC extended multiverse by moving on from the Snyderverse. And this is something that Warner Brothers has wa been wanting to do for a long time. While a lot of people, a ton of people, loved Zack Snyder's Justice League, the studio heads at Warner Brothers did not want it released whatsoever. And it was really Zack Snyder, the fans, as well as the cast and HBO Max that helped bring this movie to HBO Max. But since its release, it's really gotten no promotion from Warner Brothers. This is the latest update from YouTube comic book film scoop purveyor, Grace Randolph. Now Grace Randolph has some good scoops. She has some bad scoops. She has good takes and bad takes. So let's see what she has to say. Uh, she claims, as many suspect, the upcoming film will be Ben Affleck's last go-round as Batman. So she tweeted out, as I've told you with update, The Flash's Batflex is Batflex's final appearance. Old footage of Cavill is used on the TV. Now that's just a complete slap in the face to Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill absolutely loves playing Superman. I would argue that he was born and built to play Superman. He's a fantastic Superman. And to not continue on, to not allow his Clark Kent to continue and finish his arc is a huge slap in the face to Henry Cavill. A new Justice League is formed. Supergirl is the new Superman. Keaton, working with Black Canary, picks Batgirl as a new Batman. And this is the new DC. Let's be open-minded and give it a fair shot. I I'm not gonna be open-minded about it at all. I, I see where this is coming from. They are once again copying the MCU and the MCU is failing with their new vision going forward. Eternals was horrible. Shang-Chi was boring. All of their new shows on Disney Plus are either really bad or incredibly lackluster. So I don't know what would make them think that this would be a good approach going forward, but we're here. She added that a new Justice League will be formed, Sasha Kalel's Supergirl will replace Cavill's Superman, and in an unexpected twist, the Tim Burton versus Batman is set to be working with Black Canary, Journey Smollett, to recruit Batgirl Leslie Grace as his successor. What an extremely diverse group of women, and I'm not knocking on that, but it's interesting that they're choosing to bring back Black Canary from one of the most horrible movies that I've ever seen in the DCEU, which is Birds of Prey, and I'm a Harley Quinn fan. That movie was terrible. That movie was cringe. And to bring her back, well, she wasn't the worst thing in that movie, but to you know, bring her back in as Black Canary and have her be a part of this new Justice League, it's a lousy choice. Everything that they're doing here is completely lousy and it's going to fail. The Keaton Black Canary Batgirl stuff obviously happens in her movie. So Batgirl is getting her own movie and it looks like all of this stuff happens in her movie. She tweeted out here and some more DC Black Canary is in the Batgirl movie working with Michael Keaton's Batman. I have absolutely no interest in seeing a solo Black Canary movie. All of this sounds horrible. Putting aside the fact that they've race swapped Black Canary, the fact that they've race swapped Batgirl, putting all of that aside, this sounds horrible. This screams of desperation. This is like Warner Brothers' desperate attempt to get rid of anything that involves the Snyderverse, because this is going to fail. Everybody wants Henry Cavill to come back as Superman. They've been wanting that for a while. We've been clamoring for it 
for a long time. And people absolutely love Ben Affleck as Batman. Ben Affleck likes playing the role. And he came back for reshoots for Zack Snyder's Justice League. So all of this that they're doing, all of these decisions that they're making, it's incredibly disheartening. And they're really bad decisions. As disappointing as this is for the Restore the Snyderverse crowd, Randolph sees the bright side. Remember, Babs and Dinah have always been good friends in the comics. I think Leslie Grace and Journey Smollett Bell will have very good chemistry and to have a superhero women of women of color mentoring another could be very powerful. I really don't care about any of that. I don't care about any of that. I don't understand why they're going in this direction, but they are. They're taking more cues from the MCU and they're bringing in, they're ushering in the DCEU. This is so stupid. It's an embarrassing decision for DC. DC had such an opportunity to overtake Marvel and restore the Snyderverse, bring back all of these characters moving forward, and they're just completely squandering it. I think that this is going to be really bad. I think it's going to fail, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please let me know what you think in those comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please come and say hi to me on Instagram and Twitter and all of my other social medias. I also want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, my Harlequins, Dark Knights, Red Hood Outlaws, and my Jokers, as well as my Rogue Gallery channel members. I appreciate your patronage and your memberships so much. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and let me know in those comments down below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone!